Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. This is my YouTube channel, Steven Sound. My name is Steven Iovino and I built this channel for live audio education and discussion. It's been a couple years since I've actually posted a video, but today I wanted to come back and cover how to use effects on the Behringer X32 rack and the Behringer X32 systems. Um, now effects basically are used to manipulate the sound of an input. So uh, some common effects would be reverbs, delays, chorus, flangers, etc. And you actually see a lot of them on uh, guitar, guitar and bass effects. Uh, most people think, you know, kick effects pedals. Now on the Behringer X32, they give you eight options where you can choose eight different effects and send to those effects. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the board and see how we can access them on there. So here we are at the effects page on the Behringer X32 rack. Now to get to this menu from the home, you would just click effects here at the bottom left. And on other Behringer, models they also have an effects button where you can click it as such now there here are the eight effects slots and what you can do on here is essentially uh pick the effect you want through here so you would cycle through with this knob right here to each of the options so vintage room reverb gated reverb reverse reverb stereo delay three tap delay and etc. So lots of options to choose from over here. Now on the first four are buses 13 through 16 automatically. And essentially how you get access to these effects are by running your audio through the bus to where the audio comes out of bus 13, 14, 15 or 16 and gets sent to the main mix. So these are basically acting as almost a monitor kind of, but they're on the last four buses and those are dedicated automatically to your effects. Now, the interesting thing about these effects over here with the buses, these are usually for time-based effects. So you have reverbs, delays, and different kind of effects where you put over here. Now over here, these are insert effects. Now these effects are effects you'd put directly on a channel that aren't necessarily time-based. So these are EQs, DSers, uh, limiters, compressors, and they're usually not time-based and they're for dedicated channel uh, inserts. So with that, let me take you into the Mixing Station app on my iPhone to give you a better view of how you'd manipulate the effects on your mobile device. All right, here we are in Mixing Station. This is the preferred app um, that I use to mix my X32 rack. I know they have the dedicated Behringer app on iPads. I also have an iPad as well, but I like to use this for convenience. If you're having issues connecting your mobile device to your mixer, by the way, I've made a separate video on it. It, it. it has been a while since I posted that, but please go ahead and check that out if you're having issues connecting your uh, mixer. So here we are in the Mixing Station app. This is my scene I have loaded up. Uh, here's channel one, here's my mic channel. Now, if we wanted an effect on this mic, Essentially, we would click effects here on the top, as you can see, the FX button. And we would check out one of these four time-based effects up here. We can work, we can check out these insert effects on the bottom later. So on effect one, I have vintage room, and that's routed to FX1 left and right. Now, something else I like to check before I go ahead is this page right here, the FX returns. I would make sure all these are at Unity. They should already be at Unity to start. Now, it's very easy from here. All we have to do is click on our channel we want, go to your sends like you'd send to a bus normally, and go ahead and raise the bus 13. 
Now I have my amp so I'm using a mic so you'll start to hear some reverb as I kick this in. And there you go, there's some reverb. All right, let's try another time-based effect here on the top four. Um, I'm gonna go and try the stereo flanger on effects four. So if we go back to our mic, that should be on send 16. And as I bring up the fader, check one, two, check, 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 check. You're gonna hear it flange a little bit. Now a flanger is a interesting effect from the early days of recording um, where they would warp the tape and it would create a flanging sound. Not gonna act like I'm an expert in that field, but uh, I do like the effect. It's more for guitar, but it is cool that Behringer incorporates it into the system here. Now let's go ahead and try an insert effect. So if I go to the bottom four here, you can see there's four effects and they all say insert left, right, insert left, right. Now there's two types of insert effects. There's dual insert effects and there's stereo insert effects. Dual insert effects, you can put the effect on two separate channels. A stereo effect, you're also putting it on two separate channels, but now you're doing it on a left and an on a right channel. Now for today's example, we're gonna use a dual deesser because the mic channel I'm using right now is just mono. So on effects five here, I'm gonna go ahead and as you can see, it's on dual deesser. So on insert left, I'm gonna go and click the mic channel. Now it doesn't matter that it says left on here. It just matters that you're picking a singular channel as I'm using a dual deesser. Now, if we go in here, click the effect to manipulate, you can see that I've already got some uh, change here. Now, what the deesser is good for is it eliminates the S sounds in a uh, mic. So if someone has a lot, of tss, 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 a lot of S sounds, you can manipulate that down. There also is a male and a female control here. As if I click it in, that's male. Unclick it, that's female. As I go in, you can start to see tss, 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 the S's are getting reduced. To activate this effect, you have to go down and click insert right there. And I don't know if you can tell on the video, but it definitely cut out the S sounds. Check one, two, check, 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 check. Check, 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 check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. It's subtle, but it definitely works. And a good thing about this is that you can do two different channels. So I could go in and click channel two or click channel three and manipulate it on two separate uh, paths. Um, so I could just go here. Let's say I have another mic and eliminate the S sounds through there. So that is how you use a insert effect. And to change the effects, you just go in on mixing station, specifically this app, you would just go in, hold it down, and there you can choose. But that is how you use effects in the Behringer X32 and on the Mixing Station app. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. Please like and subscribe and share. It means a lot to me. I started this channel that educated live sound and built a discussion more about live sound and the X32. Um, so it'd mean a lot if you'd subscribe and share. Also, I do offer consulting services um, so if you are interested and need assistance with setting up your sound system, I can set up a Zoom meeting. I can set up a phone call as well. Please email me stevensoundlive at gmail.com and I'd be happy to assist. I'm also on Instagram at istevenai7 and on Facebook, Steven Iovino, just my full name. If you have any questions or any video ideas, please go ahead and drop them in the comments below. I wanna get this channel growing again and start it up again. I know it's been a few years since my last video, but I'd love to come back into this community and help people out however I can as far as setting up their own sound system. I'm not just specific to the Behringer X32. I can operate several digital and analog models. Um, so if you are interested, please give me an email and I'd be happy to assist. Thank you for watching and have a good one.